stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today is a super exciting day because I'm going to show you my 2015 holiday mini catalog haul. So I got so many goodies in because I just can't wait to get started on holiday cards and all of my holiday card classes. So I got lots and lots of goodies. So I'm going to be going through all of the goodies that I got um, with my pre-order as a demonstrator. We can pre-order in August. As a customer, you can start ordering on September 1st. And if you just can't wait till September 1st, you can always join me as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can use some of the pre-order items in your new starter kit. How fabulous is that? Plus you're getting a super amazing deal with that as well. So let's get started on what I got in my holiday mini catalog haul. Okay, so first we're gonna start with this gorgeous stuff. Oh, it's so shiny. Look, you can see everything. It's just very reflective. This is some new real red foil. So it is super gorgeous. Right now we have the silver and the gold foil, and now we have red foil. So that'll be amazing to use for ornaments or um, anything that's blingy like, um, Holly, the little holly berries. Oh, how gorgeous will that be? One of the other things that's new is black glimmer paper. Again, this is kind of shiny all over. Um, but right now we have the silver, gold, um, the regular like white kind of uh, iridescent, and then we also have red. Well, now we have black, which will be great for Halloween and those holidays. And then here is a designer series paper stack. This one is called Winter Wonderland. It is the specialty paper, so let's open this up just to flip through real quick all the different pieces. There's a lot of um, bling to this, so it is super fun. So you can see that reflective gold foil, and then that, which is super gorgeous. That I can see uh, has New Year's written all over it. Then this one here, these are also um, one-sided because of the gold foil, um, so they are one-sided and a little bit thinner than our regular designer series paper. So then those are those two sheets, and then now we're double-sided. So there's those antlers, and then just gold little dots, and then some gold stripes, and the back side is black snowflakes. Very uh, elegant looking, I think. Then this one is kind of like loops of gold. And then the back is um, what I guess I would call like twig branches or um, pine tree branches. And that's in black. So all of this is in black and gold. Then this one almost looks like a mosaic or a cracked look. In, uh, but then it also has little gold dots randomly placed as well. And then the back is these beautiful trees. Look at that. Oh, I love that, very rustic-y looking. And then, let's see, here we have gold pine cones uh, with black um, twigs, I guess you would call that. Twigs are the, like the little leaves and needles. And then the back, oh, the back of that is the black dots too. So this is awesome because um, you can use a lot of the black pieces for some of your um, Halloween goodies or something like that. But then you can also use it for Christmas time or the holiday season and winter season as well. So very versatile. Whatever you don't use for one holiday, you can also use uh, for the next holiday. So that is super fun. The other paper pack that I got was this paper stack. And this one is actually called Merry Moments, and it's sort of your reds and greens. So Stampin' Up! decided to do um, more pieces in the same uh, pattern so that you can make multiples of your cards. So there's lots of sheets in the polka dot, and this is like an ornament. Um, it's white ornament there on green, which is uh, Old Olive. And then the other set is, ooh, I love that. A little uh, red and green and maybe smoky slate, I think. Let's see. Yep, smoky slate. So a little red, green, and smoky slate there, and then the polka dots. 
And so that's all of those sheets in there. There are uh, 48 sheets, so that's a great start on using uh, for your holiday cards. I know I make um, usually like 100, almost 200, so you know if I used a two inch strip here, I could get oodles and oodles of cards, um, very cost effective out of this paper stack there. So I'm super excited about that. That is all of the paper I got in my haul. Now let's go to some embellishments. So we have these. So Halloween is not my favorite holiday. <gasps> Gasp, I know. So many people love, love, love Halloween, but I just do not. Um, but I do still like to participate in making like little treat baggies for the trick-or-treaters around here. We don't get that many, which is why I love doing it. But look at how beautiful. Oh, stuck together. I don't want to break it. Gentle, gentle. There we go. Um, let's see if I can do, there you go. How amazing is that? And I've seen so many fabulous things um, where it's cut out and you can use the center as a doily. You can also flip it over. Well, and now it's white so you can't see it. And you can flip it over and then you can color it. You can either sponge it or spritz it or brayer it um, or add color however you want and it totally looks like a doily and it's so elegant and, and fabulous looking. There's a little piece that didn't get popped out but it's already cut for you. You don't have to make a mess or anything. So you can either use it as a spider web or you can flip it over and use it for just about anything. So many possibilities with that. Those are super fabulous. I can't wait to use those for some Halloween treat bags, but then also for some other goodies. Then I have this gold twine. And if I remember correctly, I think it is stretchy, which is super fun. Let's see. Pop this out. Oh, it's not stretchy. I'm sorry. I thought it was, but it is not. But it is very, looks very similar to that gold um, stretchy that you can get. So instead of being stretchy now, you don't have to worry about that give that it has whenever it is stretchy. But this is very beautiful gold cord. Um, and it is fairly thin, so you don't have to worry about it being too bulky on one of your cards or anything like that. And there's oodles and oodles of it on this spool. Let's see. It is uh, 25 yards. So if you were doing little treat bags, you would get a lot done. If you were doing bows for cards or anything, you would be able to get a lot out of this with 25 yards. This I'm so excited to play with. I can't wait to get it out. So this is actually um, gold glitter ribbon, and then this is like a iridescent glitter ribbon. But I've seen Stampin' Up! showed us how you can color the iridescent into any color. I see pink glitter in my future. Cannot wait. Um, so yes, I can't wait to do this in some pink, but then the gold is also very beautiful too for that, um, that shimmer and shine. And every card and project needs a little bling in my opinion. So there's the two spools. Those do come in the same packaging. Um, so you get one of each and they are, let's just double check, 10 yards total. So five yards each on each of the spools there. So super fun there. Then, of course, we have the new basic gray and basic black uh, ink pads. So these are now um, perfect for doing archive stuff and they won't bleed and anything else. So I'm super excited about the new uh, black and gray. Uh, that'll be perfect for all of our stamping, especially around Halloween for that. Um, and then I like to use gray when I want just a little subtle look, but I still want it to be kind of dark, just not as dark as black. So can't wait to start using those um, and playing with those colors as well. Of course, we still have our memento and our stays on for uh, different projects like that. Now let's get into the stamp set. So many of the stamp sets are um, bundles, and so it's so much better to buy it in a bundle with the framelit or the punch or whatever it coordinates with because it's so much easier to use together, and whenever you buy it as a bundle, you save 15%. So this one is the one stamp set that I got that does not come in a bundle, but I love these trees and my mom always loves doing big trees or very simple cards and pine cones and stuff. So this one I think has her name written all over it. So I thought I'd go ahead and get that one as it's very rusticy and, um, and my family like lives in the country and stuff. So this one will be great for something like that with the nice little greetings of silent night and then all is calm, all is bright with the little snowflakes. So there's nothing better than going into the forest whenever it snows and it's just so peaceful and calm and all you can hear is the cracking of the 
um, the branches that you're stepping on or something like that. So love that. Um, can't wait to do that with maybe a little bit of dazzling details for a little extra bling. Um, I can see that coming for sure. Then I have this one here. This one is a bundle. So this is the embellished ornaments and then there's also matching framelits and the framelits are to die for. They're very intricate, detailed, and laced. I super love them and I can't wait to play with them. Let's see if we can open those up. Pop those out there. See the intricacies of those? Look at that, I love that. And then this one is almost like a little snowflake, but then you have your hooks and all of your little ornaments. And of course they do coordinate with the stamp set so perfectly with the little topper there and the hook and the greetings. I love that these stamp sets come with both an image and a greeting so that you can really um, purchase one of these bundles and then your cardstock and a few embellishments and you're all set to go. You don't have to worry about buying a greeting stamp set and uh, an image stamp set. You can just get it all in one. So that is super fabulous there. Again, this is one of the uh, bundles that you can purchase together and get 15% off. The next one is this one. How cute is he? He is just absolutely adorable. Um, I, I love little snowman. Um, and all the little building pieces that you can do. You can build the snowman with his little arms and then add the hat or the little earmuffs or the top hat or in the little scarf or the bow tie. So many cute little things. Oh, I love the little ice cream. That is just adorable. Then, of course, you have the little buttons, too, and the bow tie. Ah, oh, so precious. So many cute and fun ways that you could use that. And then there's the coordinating framelits. So you can see all of these pieces kind of go together. And the fun thing is, is you can then um, punch out the scarf because if you stamped that on him, it would become kind of a mess because it would you would still see the lines in the background. And once you added all the stuff, it would all just be layered even. Whereas if you added it with a framelit, then it would pop up and it would actually give uh, depth and texture to the little snowman. And then of course there's the little uh, penguin as well. So super cute, love all those little pieces and everything. And again, that's one of the bundles as well. The next bundle is called Peaceful Pines. So that's all of these cute little uh, trees and there's the elegant tree, there's the simple tree, um, there's the ones that have the wording already on them. And then of course there's all the decorations too because uh, most Christmas trees are nice and decorated. Let's get rid of all of those. So there's the little ornaments, there's the little snowflake looking thing, um, and then the star, a few other ornaments, and then of course there's the lights. You can't forget those. So there's so many fun ways that you could decorate that tree. And then of course the present. Isn't he cute? He's so little. But you know, the greatest things come in small packages. And then look at those fabulous framelits. This is another one of the bundle and save. So you can see that you can do like this one and it would then pop out. Um, you could then, you know, make it look a little bit more textured. Then this one's got all the little um, balls or lights. I don't know, you could almost use that as balls, but it could be the lights as well. Then this one's the garland. And so lots of different things. Of course, a little star for the top and a little tag. So lots of great ways to use the framelits. And then, of course, the, the trees are all tiered in size um, as well. So that would be nice for layering and stuff too. So super cute. Love that one too. Um, lots of great ways to use it. Again, you could do elegant, you could do um, like, you know, fun and colorful, you could do lots of different things with that stamp set. The next one is another bundle, and this is actually a bundle with an embossing folder. So this embossing folder is actually just a trim. So you leave that open piece in the middle so that you can stamp your greeting, which I do love, a nice big bold greeting on my card. And the embossing adds so much texture and fabulousness that you really don't need much more. So a nice big greeting with some little foo-foos on the side of ribbons and bows and hollies. There's the little holly berries you could do in red glimmer paper. So super cute there and coordinating very nicely with that as well. And again, a bundle where you can save 15% when you purchase it together. This one here is called Reason for the Season, and this one actually comes with a coordinating punch. This one is all uh, poinsettias, or poinsettia, however you'd like to pronounce that. And then it's got the little... Um, 
the little leaves and everything for that. So this punch actually, uh, this is the center of the of the poinsettia. You can add a few little pieces there, and then these are all the petals that you will have to punch a couple times to then layer them all together all around. And then this would be the top petals that you could then crisscross like that, and then this would be the center of your poinsettia there in the middle. So. Um, lots of great ways. I love this font. You know I'm a sucker for scrolly font. Um, so this one is very gorgeous. A very Merry Christmas to you. And then uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. And peace be with you. So some very great greetings um, for your holiday cards. The last one here is snowflakes. So there's a little bit of everything in this holiday mini catalog from snowman, snowflakes, ornaments, trees, um, flowers, just lots of, of goodies for uh, all occasions and for um, all of your Christmas ideas. So this one is gorgeous with the intricate details of that. Luckily it's a stamp, um, but there is the coordinating punch for these two smaller ones. And then again the fonts, which that would be gorgeous to um, add a little pop of color. If you can see that, it's got that... Um, it's like an outline, so then you can add a little pop of color by coloring that in, and it's still small, so even if you're making 200 or 5 or 50, um, you can still color a few of those. Don't worry, my 200 that I make is a combination of lots of different cards. It's not all one because I get tired of making the same one, so I do lots of different cards and samples that I've used uh, throughout all of my classes. Um, so that's the last stamp set, and again, that was a bundle. The next one we have is a kit. So this kit here is actually a wreath kit, um, and it does have a stamp set that coordinates with it. It does not come as a bundle, and you actually don't have to purchase this. I decided to go ahead and purchase this, um, this stamp set, and as you can see, the stamp set is for the garland there. So the garland um, is actually like the little trees, but then you can also do fall acorns. You can also do uh, the leaves for Thanksgiving, um, leaves and the acorn, the little spider, which I don't really want to touch, and the bat. Um, are great for Halloween. So there's lots of great ways to use this. Um, and so, and since it's so simple and so neutral, uh, it can be used for lots of different holidays. So I'm very much looking forward to this as I don't have to plan any of my holiday wreaths for the next couple of months because I have this wreath that I can just change out that little garland in the center and keep using it until it no longer fits or sits on my uh, front door because sometimes the weather can, can get it a little bit. Um, but otherwise, I've never had a problem with any of my other ones, so I look forward to having this one with a little decoration on my front door for many months to come. And I'll be doing another video uh, showcasing this, this project kit, so see that coming out soon. Okay, and the last kit that we have here is this one, which I know I said I don't like Halloween, but I still thought this was super cute with this little witch's hat. And then the um, the leaves actually come separate, so they come here. They're already pre-die cut and everything. Um, those are those leaves that you see down here. Um, so that's perfect for, um, you know, down there at the bottom of the little hat. But I actually plan on using this as a wreath on my front door. So I know I just showed you the other wreath, but I thought I'd mix it up a little and see if I can get this little witch's hat to be a wreath, um, kind of like poking out. Um, so it would actually kind of be like standing out. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I'll definitely let you know how that goes. Um, so be sure to, to be following me um, either on my blog, laurastamppad.com, or on my Facebook, Stampin' and Scrapbookin' with Laura Schmidt slash Burkett. So uh, you can check that out there as I'm sure I'll have a follow-up to whether this works or not. Um, but I still thought it was super cute. And of course the leaves, you could always create like a garland which would be great for uh, any sort of in, indoor decorating uh, for Thanksgiving or just the fall in general. So uh, this one did actually come uh, with a stamp set, or has a coordinating stamp set. It didn't bundle, but does have a coordinating stamp set for that image there. Um, and since I'm not a big Halloween person, I decided to forfeit on the stamp set, um, but I'll just use either a different greeting that I already have or something more fallish. So uh, I'm looking forward to, um, to making this. Again, I'll be doing a full video of the reveal of of this project kit as well. So be sure to, um, to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on that. So this is uh, the final piece of my haul. So I have all of these goodies here that you can see. 
and um, and I can't wait to start playing with them so that I can start doing more videos on them. If there's something that you would like to see a video on specifically, leave me a, a comment down below and I will do my best to make that happen. Also be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com so you can see more photos and ideas. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.